funny. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. I didn't. I don't know what that was. <laughs> That was my attempt at an intro because your girl is going to read a book where everyone calls each other bunny and then I said hi bunny and that reminded me of hot Barbie. So yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I actually am going to read Bunny by Mona Wad. I feel like I haven't talked about this book like at all, but I think about it all the time. <laughs> so this is a very exciting moment for me. I actually have been wanting to read this book for like so long. I can't even explain it. First of all, one of my favorite YouTubers, it's her favorite book. And then one of my other favorite YouTubers also mentioned that she really likes this book and recommended it in a recent video. Um, so I was like, that's the confirmation that I need, right? It's time to read Bunny. Everyone loves Bunny. Um, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> but when I finally decided that I was going to read Bunny, then I went on a book buying ban and I didn't actually own it so I couldn't read it. But now I'm not on a book buying ban. Actually, I've bought a pretty scary amount of books in the last few days. We won't talk about it but one of the books i bought was bunny so we're gonna read it now and unfortunately or fortunately if you like chaos i'm bringing you along so bunny here we come so i actually thought about it <laughs> and i haven't actually bought that many books in the last few days it was literally only three <laughs> Um, and you can see a book haul in the last video. Like, it literally was just the Red Queen bunny. And then I got the Fairy Loot edition of Divine Arrivals. Because that has been my new fixation recently. So, it's three books. But given that I was just on a book buying ban for a month and two months, I haven't bought a book since June two months of a book buying ban that's a huge deal for me i usually buy a book like once a week <laughs> at least um but i guess three just felt like a large number in comparison i don't know anyways i'm here to tell you what bunny is about and i was gonna try to explain it but i realized i actually have no idea what this book is about and i'm just not gonna bother i'm gonna read you the back it says a scholarship student who prefers the company of her dark imagination to that of most people, Samantha Heather Mackey is utterly repelled by the rest of her graduate fiction writing cohort at New England's elite Warren University, a clique of unbearably saccharine yet sinister rich girls who call each other bunny and seem to move and speak as one. But everything changes when Samantha receives an invitation to the bunny's fabled smut salon and finds herself inexplicably drawn to their front door, ditching her only friend Ava in the process. As Samantha plunges deeper and deeper into the bunny's world and begins to take part in their monstrous experiments, the edges of reality begin to blur. Soon, her friendships with Ava and the bunnies will be brought into deadly collision. <laughs> I'm so excited. This book is giving all the Blake vibes. Like, might be a little too smart for me vibes, but I hear that it's really weird. And I'm excited for that. You know what this just made me think of? If you've ever heard of a book called Catherine House, I mean, it, like, the plots are not similar at all, other than I think Catherine House is like dark academia. Um, but. If you haven't heard of it, look it up. It's like the actual like description of it seems like so freaking interesting, but the actual book itself like nothing happens. But anyways, why did I think about Catherine House?
I don't know. Okay, well, if I remember later, I'll let you know. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. I've read exactly one page from this book. And I have reported here to tell you that this book is indeed very strange. Very strange. <laughs> that is all I had to say. Um, well, literally graphic. Okay, off to a strong start. got some book mail <laughs> so I've been reading money and I'm actually only 82 pages in I say only but like you know what that's a lot of pages for one day and I don't have many thoughts other than this book is so strange. <laughs> like, it is so strange. There is, like, this one scene. So, from the very beginning, Samantha, the character, and not really a spoiler, I promise. I'm going to be better about not being spoilery in these videos. Maybe. But this is not a spoiler. <laughs> so Samantha gets invited to the bunny's smut salon that's literally in the back. Me justifying to myself that I'm not spoiling the book. Um, and something happens at the smut salon and I was just so confused about whether it actually happened or not. And I guess I'm like, I'm just not sure like does the character not know if this happened or not? Or do I just not know? Or like, is the character still trying to find out and I'm not supposed to know and I'm going to know later? Or am I dumb and I was supposed to know? Like, I just really have no idea <laughs> at all <laughs> what happened there. Um, I mean, either way, I don't think it's like a bad confuse. Like, it's not like I have no idea what's going on in this book at all. And I can't understand it. Like, I am comprehending the book. I promise. Also, I really love that there's this male character in the book. And one of the characters is like, what does he look like? And she's like, well, it kind of looks like Zeus. She's like, like the Greek god. <laughs> like, what does Zeus look like? Do I not know this? Should I look it up? Okay. Back to what's really important. Book mail! I know, I like this is not even the purpose of this video and I also have noticed that I've opened a package in each of the videos that I have done lately because I'm finally off my book buying ban and I I'm a maniac right now. I don't know how to act. <laughs> I actually also just got another book, Holly by Stephen King, which I think is so funny because everyone was calling the publishing date for that book Holiday. Haha, <laughs> like a holiday. Okay, I know you ruined the joke if you explain it. Anyways, I just got that book in the mail, but this book I'm super excited about because everyone's been selling this book on the internet, like used. This is the Fairy Loot Edition. They've been selling it used for like $350. And so I finally found someone who had a like more reasonable price for it. And I had to do it. This is the most I've ever paid for a book. I am so ashamed with the amount that I paid for this that I'm not even going to tell you because I'm truly ashamed. It's really disgusting. But we are not gonna talk about it. Wow, they really like packaged this in really well. Oh my God, they're so cute. Boy. They gave me a little Greek mythology.
Archaeology Books tote bag. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God, this is a fairy loot bag. And then they gave me a little like wooden postcard from Olympus. Oh my God, I wasn't expecting this. This is such a nice surprise. Oh, I'm so glad I bought this. And then this is, I think like a little book caddy. I've seen a couple people with this. It says, Adastra Peraspera, which I think is to the stars. If I'm not mistaken, but also so cute. Oh my gosh. What? I was wondering like, why did one book come in this giant package? That is insane. Oh my gosh. Wow. I can't, I cannot believe that. All right. And now here is the book. They did such good. They really wanted this book to arrive here safely. I do not put this much love and attention when I ship out a book, unfortunately. I mean, that makes it sound like my books are not shipped well. They are. It's just like, this is beyond the call of action. So... Ah. <laughs> the book I've been obsessing about. I cannot stop thinking about this edition. I can't believe I'm holding it in my hands. It's Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. And if you're wondering, I have not read it, but I was just completely and utterly obsessed with this cover and the sprayed edges. And also the art inside is like... <gasps> It can't be more perfect than this. This is the most beautiful book I've ever seen in my life. And I have no regrets. Not a single one in sight. Anyways, back to what you actually came here for. Funny, but now that I'm getting all these books, you know what kind of video is coming next. It's time for a book haul. You still in doubt? Oh, cause I'm bad like a Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. Is this a good angle? Cool. Bonjour. Hello. Comment ça va? Yeah. <laughs> I've been reading Bunny. Isn't this like so? Can we can we please talk about how satisfyingly floppy? this book is also it's like the perfect size um like not necessarily like the pages but I just mean like it's like the perfect size for a book like the perfect tallness the perfect like thickness it's just the perfect floppiness like it's just very satisfying that's really what I'm trying to say anyways I'm Delulu right now because <laughs> I'm 100 pages into this book. I'm on chapter, I'm about to start chapter 14. And this book feels like being in a fever dream, except that people's heads are exploding. And yeah, I, like it's so disturbing and dark. And like, I'm not sure what's actually happening and what is. And now I'm thinking that maybe that's like supposed to be what I'm supposed to be feeling because that's what the main character is feeling and maybe it's not a fever dream it's like a fever nightmare because what the actual heck is going on here I like I can't even formulate any other thoughts to say about this book because I have no clue what I'm reading like at all I'm just I'm disturbed and weirded out and confused, but like in a good way. Is that possible? <laughs> and on top of that, like, can we talk about how like cute and adorable and like pink and yellow and happy this book looks? And that is nothing like what the inside and the words are. I don't, it's so spooky. Okay, so like, have you ever like watched like a spooky movie and like there's like a haunted doll or something like 
do you ever um see those like documentaries and they have those like dolls and they're cute and like porcelain and they wear like the frilly dresses and they're really cute then the lights go off and it's like oh god these dolls are about to come to life and kill me that's what this book feels like like the bunnies that's what they feel like like they're like pink and frilly and happy and hi bunny hi bunny i love the bunny oh my gosh bunny i'm gonna kill you bunny <laughs> that's what i'm picturing here this is this is psychotic. This is wow, wow, just wow. I didn't wow. <laughs> I can't even tell you what I'm feeling other than that. Just wow. So we're gonna move on because I'm just gonna keep saying the same things over and over because I just can't formulate any other thoughts about this book. But today, I think that I'm going to spend the day just kind of cleaning up at home, um, getting some things done around the house, and reading Bunny and probably finishing it because it's just a day for that. We'll see. Fingers crossed. I've also been reading The Slippery Slope by Lemony Snicket. It's book 10 in a series of unfortunate events. And I think I need to use this as like a little bit of a break sometimes between Bunny because, well, first of all, I read the first nine books in this series and they were just getting a little bit repetitive so it just stopped for a really long time. Um, but I think that uh, it's like good that I'm going back and forth between the two books because I literally feel like I'm going psychotic when I read Bunny. Like, I'm just so confused. All right, I'm gonna clean up a little bit, read a little bit. We'll give you guys some updates uh, when I have something to say other than I'm disturbed and confused in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to switch up the angles because I feel like I have been filming from the same exact place this entire video throughout like multiple days, but I don't know. I mean, this is fine. This is a fine angle. Anyways, I ventured out. I was so excited because I woke up and it was like raining and like cloudy. And I was like, yes, this is the perfect mood to read in. But I did have a couple of things to do. So I ventured out this morning. And of course, I just got home and it's no longer raining and it's sunny. And I hate that missed opportunity I guess and also like I was reading in the bus and like I don't know if you could tell but like the pages are wavy like literally from the humidity of the rain so that's really annoying I don't have much of an update to be honest also I just realized that the edges are like totally ruined in my book because of my backpack that's gonna bother me you know what else has been bothering me i noticed that like the spine oh god you, you can't even like tell so like it doesn't exactly line up right here like you see it's like pink and then like some of the yellow like is on the back cover i hate that Ugh. anyways <laughs> i was reading on the bus and I think this is gonna be the last day of this vlog because I have 100 pages left and I'm physically incapable of putting a book down when I have 100 pages left. Even though like 100 pages earlier in the book might take me a longer time, but I feel like the last 100 pages of a book always goes by so quickly. I just cannot put a book down if I have 100 pages or less left. So yeah. I wish I had more to say about this book. I'm just like, I'm teetering on the edge of like, it feels right now like a three star. Um, So when I first started, I was like, oh my God, I think this is gonna be a five star book. It's so freaking weird. I can't wait to figure out what's going on. And then as I was going through and like, you kind of figure out what the like experiment is that they're talking about in the back of the book and stuff. I was like, all right, like still in a fun time. I don't know if five star feels, Um, maybe four. I think that like 
the the description in the back of the book that I read to you guys like I don't want to say that it's inaccurate like it's not inaccurate but it's kind of misleading in a way like especially like the idea of like the character kind of leaving her friend behind um because of this like group I don't think is necessarily the case like I almost think in some ways that her friend is the one abandoning her um except that she feels like a lot of guilt about abandoning her friend but it's like do you actually feel guilty or are you just guilty because you're lonely and you wish you still had her like available also I'm so glad like this book I will say is like geniusly written like there are parts where like the main character is in like this haze and I felt like I was in haze like just reading it like just the way that it was written and then I thought I was confused like I thought it was me who was confused like maybe I was like too dumb to read this book but then once we got out of that phase in the main character's life it was also like much easier to read the book like it's almost like it's written in like the mindset of the main character so yeah it is like geniusly written however I think that I can't decide whether I'm actually enjoying myself right now or not I think it's really like my rating and my like enjoyment of this book is totally going to depend on like the ending and reveal like I feel like I know what is happening here but then I also feel like I don't <laughs> and so like in the end I'm expecting like a reveal of like what's actually happening what is this fever dream that I just went through and if I don't get that I have to say that I'm gonna be really upset with this book um and if I do get that hopefully it makes sense like hopefully like the ending is something that's gonna tie this whole book together because right now I'm getting the vibes that we're just here for the ride and that would be really upsetting well from editing me who realized that i finished bunny that day and put it down and i just like my brain cells were not computing <laughs> um so i forgot to film me finishing the book and an outro or anything because I just I was so confused and terrified and what are even words <laughs> so um like I said I did finish funny that day I ended up giving it three and a half stars wow I tabbed a lot in this book um I guess I couldn't really give this book any more than three and a half stars um so I'll, I guess I'll start from the beginning. Before I even started this book, like people mentioned how twisted this book was, but I just was utterly unprepared for how disturbing and twisted it actually is. I just, I was not fully ex knowing what to expect with this book. I really was not um, completely un prepared the only thing I really knew is that um there's a group of girls and they call each other bunny and um a, like the other character who I now know is Samantha like was interacting with them and um you know that they were like frilly and lovey and like hi bunny hi bunny um and then people said it was disturbing. But that's it. It's like literally all I knew. And I did read the description. I read it to y'all, but it just it just wasn't an accurate depiction of what I experienced reading this book at all. Like oh, I'm so stressed. Um I also feel like the description led me to believe that this book was, you know, centered around the smut salon. And I guess that, I don't know, I feel like that term wasn't even, like, mentioned more than, like, once. It was really more focused on these workshops that they're doing. And I, I'm just, I'm done and I'm still confused. So, 
I I'm not sure what they were up to. Like, is it magic? Is it not? What is like how are they how are they accomplishing the things that they're accomplishing? Like how are they getting these um bunnies to do the things that they're getting them to do no entiendo no comprende overall i felt like the experience of reading this book was like a fever dream i feel that they were on drugs and i was on drugs <laughs> and i didn't consent to that <laughs> i didn't understand 75 percent of what was happening in this book or like, I guess I was following the sequence of events, but I wasn't sure what was real, what was not, what was an effect of like the drugs. And maybe that was intentional because the main character is on drugs and it's her perspective. In that case, like that was very genius, Mona Awad. I personally didn't like feeling like I was on drugs without taking any. <laughs> um, I also didn't really understand the dynamic of Samantha's relationship with the bunnies. I personally found the Duchess very terrifying. And so for her to be friends with her, I'm like, why? What's the reason? I no no say. I would have stopped being friends with them as soon as they created that horrible drink and named it after her. Um, but I will leave it at that. I I guess I would say that this is definitely a unique experience and I recommend that people give it a try because it's not like anything else that I've ever really experienced and in that way I would recommend it um but it's not gonna like be like my new favorite book or anything <laughs> so that's it bunnies thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed hit that like button if you did and if you want to join the fam hit that subs blah, 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 subscribe button <laughs> I'll see y'all when I see you next bye I know this book is giving very much oh this book is very much given on blue bait blue 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 bl